It's Jamal here with TheUnlocker.com and today I'm showing you Read It Later for Android. Read It Later allows you to access articles offline for those times when your internet connection is lost. In order to use Read It Later, you have to first create an account which you can easily do within the mobile application or through the website which you can find at readitlaterlist.com. When you log in, you see a few buttons. One for reading lists, which shows you things you add to Read It Later. Your reading archive, which lists what you've already read, along with links for add, options, and help. Adding content to Read It Later is really simple. All you have to do is press this add button and then a number of things pop up to allow you to add content to read it later. You can share via your mobile browser or you can also use a browser-based um, desktop application or you can also share from apps like Engadget or any other apps that you may like. Sharing from your mobile browser is really easy. All you have to do is go to menu, more, and share. Or you can also just long press on a link, click on share link, and then as you'll see at the top, you have add it to read it later. I just click on that and boom, it'll be there. As you can see from the notification that just popped up. As I mentioned earlier, you can also share from apps. So right now we're looking at the Engadget app. And as you can see down here at the bottom, you have a little share button. So if I click on that, as you can see at the top, I can just add that to read it later. And it saved it to read it later. So once you're done, getting all the content that you want and to read it later, all you have to do is go to your reading list and you can start reading your articles offline. So as you see here, there's a list of articles that I chose. Let's choose iOS 5 beta. And as you can see, it pops up in a nice text-friendly presentation along with the picture at the top. Another nice feature of Read It Later is the ability to switch between the web-based version of the article you're reading and the Read It Later offline version. So if for whatever reason you don't like this nice presentation that Read It Later does, you can choose to quickly switch back to the way it was on the web. So this is a great app for reading your favorite articles offline and we definitely suggest you pick this up. You'll find it in the Android market. There are two flavors, free and pro, and you can find the pro version in the market as well for $2.99. And it adds extra options like the ability to scroll articles using the volume button if you're really lazy. But you know, you don't really need that as you can just easily use your finger. Either way, great app, so check it out.